All right, Cat Ling. Uh, so speaking of Amazon, Amazon had this new service, I guess, called the Prime. It's Prime bullshit. Um, just you know, because I need to get it off my chest. And oh, by the way, so if it offends you, then then ta ta, you can't watch Honey Boo Boo anymore. Um, what what I'm trying to say, if my outfit offends you, because uh, I'm, I'm always roaming around in a very scantily, well, just you know, bathing suit. Because we're poor indigenous, we had no clothes where I came from. I came from the little island. <laughs> little island, yeah, called Wahoo. Uh, that's where I live. Uh, so let's uh, let's not get distracted. I mean, when I say that's meaning me, um, what had occurred, you know, like I have some freaky neighbors. Oh, okay, so they're kind of like weirdos, and uh, you know, not to be racist. There, there's uh, this guy named Caleb. He's a black guy, and got nothing against a black person, uh, but he's you know, he's very kind of. Uh, want to be enthusiastic, but you know, sort of out there. Uh, his wife is is a white lady, uh, and you know, I, I, you know, so that you know, I personally, hey, look at me. I'm a, a what do you call it? downtrodden Asian. So I got you know, you got nothing on me. You can't call me a racist, and and I'm just sim simply state that this couple. Um, they got some kind of Amazon Prime, I suppose. So when I opened a door on Sunday, when I was like really heading out, um, I saw three big bags, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. And then it's like, oh, I thought for me, it says like a two hour delivery or whatever. And I looked, it was for them. Resumism, that's the name. And I just go, oh my God. Okay, let me just, it, uh, be a nice neighbor, bring the bags over, but lo and behold, the bags were like a 20 pound. I don't know what it is. I thought it was like, you know, maybe dog food or whatever. I don't know. I was in a hurry because I didn't want to get in traffic. So uh, I just happened to have their number because they stole my tree before. Yeah, they chopped down my tree. They chop down my tree without me knowing it and use it for firewood, insult unto injury. Anyways, I was really, really, you know, ready to bury the hatchet because the Lord says you gotta forgive, right? Because if you don't forgive, uh, then your heavenly Father will not forgive your sins. So we gotta be from our heart and not just say, oh, I forgive you, I forgive you. Uh, okay, so I figured I'd tell you the little story whether you like it or not. I mean, that's uh, really your, your choice. Uh, and then they were heavy. Uh, okay, so I texted, with well, this black guy is drunk, right? So I t texted him, and he said, uh, I think you have Amazon Prime delivery that somehow uh, end up at my front door, so get them. Because I figure if it's two hours, the people are probably hungry, whatever it is, that if it's like dog crap, or, but what can weigh 20 pounds? I'm serious, I could not lift the bag. And I did not want to disclose that, like, I'm a weakling, you see. Otherwise, I would have been, uh, like, a good neighbor and say, oh, let me bring this back to you. Like, a good little Uber thing. But how could a stupid Amazon, when I say stupid, because I came to the conclusion, they're idiots. Oh, the, the address are totally different. And then when you put it on the front door, you got to look up and say, is that one, two, three, four? If it's, like... One, two, three, nine. <laughs> oh, and actually, you're two, two digit different. Uh, then they should say two digit difference. <clears throat> it doesn't matter, but you know, I get away with things uh, because I'm still learning. I can't announce it. Somebody told me that I cannot announce it. I would say, well, how about if I announce it like giving screw you? I can announce it that fairly well. Um, I texted him and then he actually texted me back and he says, oh, I am, uh, I'm not home now. I will check it out when I get home. I mean, I don't know. I think the folks may be driving Uber or, or whatever. You know, it's not my business. I don't ask. So I figure if somebody needs lunch, then uh, they will come and grab it. Anyways, I said front door and my front door and my front door. Um, Anyways, I drove, uh, that's not, not a story, so, you know, it's cold crazy, 
and uh, you know how it is that you get very exhausted um, visiting mother on um, after 10 hours and then you know a mother and my my poor auntie I love my auntie uh, just passed I believe it's the you know you know what um, in uh, in in uh, the island of Formosa, so we FaceTimed the relatives. Uh, long story short, that's another story I pay tribute uh, to my auntie Hui Uh I I really believe that Jesus took her. <coughs> okay, that's that's a different story. So by the time I really really uh, get so exhausted, I mean this is a trip. No big man. Um, you know, strong, sturdy guys that who love to drive. You know, we got to go hundreds of miles, right? And uh, you know, they don't even like it because uh, you know, as you know, the so-called the industrial complex of of this uh, uh, road building. Just like when I lived in Hawaii, they're always building roads, and this way they can suck up gazillion dollars. That doesn't end. So it is treacherous and then dark. So I'm exhausted at like eleven o'clock <clears throat> now, and. Shockingly, when I parked my car and I looked, I, I don't say that, 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 the, the freaking Amazon bags are now crawling with outer space, I don't know what creatures, they're, they're just like, and there are ants and, you know, not just like ants and like, I don't know what they were, raccoons, I just like, Wah! I screamed, um, and I saw their garage is lit up, but then I hear the mm, the door, the garage door closer, opener closed on me because I said, "Hey, hey, hey! It's your your freaking bags, right?" And I went like this to their garage, but they just go mm, 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 and close on me. I go, "What the hell? Why? Why? Why?" Uh, I thought like um, earlier today, I texted my neighbor. This is why I want you to even make a comment, right? It's just not hearsay. Like, what the hell went wrong? What was going on? I texted my neighbor uh, that they had the, some kind of Amazon delivery, and obviously there were food items because otherwise, because it, it says zero to two, it's seemingly like big prints. So it has got to be urgent. It got to be urgent. So I figure if it was urgent, I text that you come pick it up. I would it be nice if I had the strength of Dolly because I had to go uphill because uh, we're on the hillside uh, to roll to Dolly this twenty pound box or whatever it was. Anyways, I don't know what it is. Um, I said it wasn't on my business. I said get the fuck over here. Uh, well, you know now my nicety. The goodness of my heart all of a sudden turned into like, huh, really shit. Okay, so I call, I actually call and say, hey, hey, can, blah, 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 can you come and get your rotten foods? Um, and, uh, you know, they're, they're like drawing a whole fucking zoo. Oh, seriously. I know I got to go see it in his because you see my, my little crack here and there. <clears throat> okay, nobody answered. I left a message, and I'm just pacing. I'm like, it's 12 o'clock. Um, so, you say, why don't you just dump it? What? Gosh darn it. I'm on a freaking hillside. Where am I going to put, and where am I going to lift a 20 pound of frozen, I don't know, whatever, snow, dripping blood and shit. Oh, oh, we got mountain lions, and uh, I hear nightmares, and even coyotes are hungry because of the damn environmentalists that think that people are dispensable, exposable, like we can be exterminated, no problem. If you have uh, been mauled by mountain lions, that's okay, we got many of us. This is what happens, and when I see that, when I go, I could not dive anymore, because the last time I went to this, this beach, and they go, oh, some lady was swimming, and then, oh, some great white just like, Gah! Cut her in half. They were they were describing vivid. I was like, oh, this is so gross. But nobody does anything um, to hunt down that white shark. When I lived in Hawaii, a tiger shark attacked a human being. People actually mobilize. Fishermen mobilize, and they go out there on their boats. Oh, but of course they can, probably can't do it anyways because you remember the Brandon took away our fuel and gasoline. They were just like, ah. Okay, they were just like, 
they ate one of us. That's all. <laughs> we got many, many more. Uh, and uh, they, in fact, back in those days, when I say back in the good days, it's not that long ago, if you remember, when gasoline was cheap and it's not illegal and it's not evil. If you remember those days, right? Right? It's not that long ago. It was like, uh, Oh, 2020, when Donald Trump had the spigot called the Keystone Pipeline. Uh, anyway, don't get me started there because uh, you said I deviate from what I was getting at. So, the, what I was getting at is that, um, okay, the, the phone uh, went to the voicemail and I left him voicemail and I opened the door. I go, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, all right, let me call it or let me text again. I go, come get it, come get it. Um, you know, before. Like the the uh, the freaking mountain lion, uh, chew you know chew up uh, the whole box of uh, crap, whatever the crap, the carcasses that's in there. So eventually, uh, I got a text back, um, and uh, he said, "Oh, I didn't say the name too clearly." He said, "Oh, okay, I'll be right there." And I'm waiting right here, right here at the front door, like a jar, like right now. <laughs> and I I just go. What is it? Uh, he showed up. Uh, I know I'm like uh, close to my poster and everything. My redneck neighbor, my redneck neighbor. We need a good home. We, we kind of, you know, as independent producers, we're just praying for a, a good distribution. You see, um, so, so I was waiting and then, and I go, ah, huh? he showed up. I know because I, I heard the, the bag rustling and everything that long. Hey! you know, the gate, and I just, ah, oh, what is in it? What is in the back? Of course, he changed the subject, right? Uh, I said, I said, what's in it? He didn't want to say what it was. And I think, I think he said chicken, because he changed the subject. You know how people are. Uh, I could do that, too, like, to change the subject. Like, he said, oh, it looks like you had a chicken, chicken coop. <laughs> so it was chicken, I get it. <laughs> And the chicken coop I just shown you, it was part of the set in my redneck neighbor. <clears throat> Anywho, so blah, blah, blah. I texted you and then, oh, I called a lie. I called a lie because I said I texted you. He said, oh, I was at work. I, I was, uh, uh, I didn't have my phone. I go, that don't sound right because you texted me back. Like, you know, this is right around uh, noon time or whatever. That's like 14 hours ago, right? Oh, 12 hours ago. I mean, I, I just want to be more accurate. But mathematically, that was day. It's when whenever Amazon drop off the two hours delivery. Let's just say they dropped it off between 10 and 12 because it's a two-hour window. So you must, I'm guessing, it's you or the wife because they, they have a kid, um, wanted to have something for um, a meal. However, I know wrong deliveries happens, shit happens, but this driver is a moron because you should not be dumping tons of frozen food in the wrong house without, like, even, I guess the location manager should, even they should take a picture and, and text it to the recipient and say, your item has been delivered, and they'll go, no. Okay, so who is lying? Is it Amazon line? Because I got, I'm really mad at Amazon at this point. But, but now I caught the neighbor in the lie where he said, oh, oh, I didn't have my phone. I said, I texted you. And, uh, uh, because I thought it was urgent. And you texted me back. He said, I don't have my phone. He goes, oh, oh, um, my, uh, my, my, my wife, my wife actually, uh, ordered them in, uh, okay. Uh, well, if you uh, texted me, you could have texted her. But uh, oh, she looked around. She saw the, She looked around. She just go, oh, well, I guess they didn't deliver, so we canceled the order. They got their money back. I go, well, well, maybe you ought to put some of that couple of dollars to clean out my front yard and uh, sanitize it so I don't get fucking uh, rodents. You see, we hate rodents. Uh, yeah, if we go back in... China, yeah, you said, well, we like rodents, but uh, we don't want to eat rodents. We don't want the rodents to, to eat through the, the bag and then come knock on the door and say, hey, you got salt and pepper. <laughs> uh, uh, there's some raw, raw chicken out here. Anyways, I don't know who can use 20 pounds of chicken. 
So the hindsight is, the hindsight is, I should, people say, you should just took them, right? So what are you trying to tell me? It doesn't pay to be a good Samaritan, right? Because there is no good deed goes unpunished, right? I want you to tell me if that is the truth. Because I don't want to feel like every time if I uh, like if I want to because they have a track record of being, uh, you know, just wackos, wackos being like you know a little bit deliberate jerks. Like they dug up my tree. My tree is in my backyard without my permission. Me knowing it only because he said, "Oh, it looks like it was dying," and then chopped them up in chunks. I use them a firewood. How do I know? Because I saw that they had trunks, the tree trunks that were chopped up in front of his garage. I said, hey, well, uh, I didn't know my tree was was chopped up because it's way down there on the hillside. Uh, he said, oh, oh yeah, I, I use it for nice uh, firewood because you know, they're expensive nowadays, right? Well, I'm not Jim Brewer, but uh, you know, he was like, uh, they're sort of, sort of expensive. I, I'm only talking like British because that's the only way I can announce it. All right, so maybe I talk too fast, but you know, you'll be surprised if I can talk faster in, uh, in Mandarin. Um, all right, so the drama, I, I'm sorry, I don't think I want to go on. The drama did not end, um, it didn't end. I was, I, I was so pissed. I said, I'm gonna call Amazon. They actually have a customer service, I couldn't believe it, but it's not toll free, okay? So that you know, it's 206 somewhere in Washington. So I figured in cahoots uh, with the, um, cabals, because they're in Washington. Why would they be in Washington? Daha, -ha, that should be a tip off to you. It's it's probably Nancy Pelosi who answered the phone. <laughs> oh, me, I help you. And uh, you yeah, just uh, uh, did you, uh, you want the blow drive? I give you a blow drive and no mask required. Um, no, so this uh, this lady, uh, this lady actually said, oh, I feel, I feel sorry, but you know, they're all like receiving the calls from my somewhere in India. Oh, you know, that it is very sad to hear your story. Yeah, what is uh, uh, the problem? What is your name and number? I said, no, it's not me. I said, it's a neighbor. Oh, you have the bag? I go, no, I just, I just made them took the bag away. Okay, we cannot chase it. But uh, I said, whoa, 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 no, wait, wait, why don't you, uh, let me email you the pictures. I took a bunch of pictures of the bags. I said, I'm sure it will have the information you want, uh, which is stupid tracking, which is like, you know, 10,000 numbers that usually I probably should have just do 001. <laughs> I just start everything with 002. But there's this like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, and, and then put a goddamn, sorry for cursing, um, uh, alphabet just to, just to screw you up. Because all of a sudden it's N, and it's O, either O or zero. You don't know. This is why you get so confused, and you just say, forget it. But I said, aha, but I'm smart enough. I took some pictures. She said, oh, okay. I send you email, and uh, you mail me the picture. Because she wants to mail me to email her. I said, I don't have your email. So um, her name is, like, I don't know. That's some kind of foreign name. Uh, Jaws. Jaws. Yeah, Jaws. She'd be, ah. Ah, your email is going to go into the garbage can. Well, that's exactly what happened. I spent half an hour, like, email her all the pictures. And I not only do it once, I did it twice. And I even said that, you know, this is the, the person's name. I spelled it all out. I figured, you know, I do my homework and everything. I go, what's going on? You have moron. I just don't want it to happen again. The goddamn Amazon moron drivers... If they have like food delivery items, look at the freaking number on the house. It's on the mailbox, it's on top of the house, and uh, you know, you cannot veer off that much. But my assumption is probably they saw the dogs, like when they try to go through their driveway and say, wow, oh, shit, 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 because they got like two pit bulls, right? <laughs> you know, uh, how dare the neighbor actually scolded me. He scolded me. He said, why didn't you just drop all our bags at, uh, or knock on our door? I got you got some fucking pit bulls. That's why I was like knocking at your garage door because nobody come to your door. They have two um, unknown pit bulls and you know what they do. They can chunk your flesh for lunch as well. So that's probably why you don't need no God storm 
Amazon delivery. So Amazon Prime sucks, basically. Um, that yeah, that lady hung up on, on me. The the bottom line of the story. I'm gonna finish now, and then I call back, which was a fool because you know now it's one o'clock. It's taking my flesh and blood, and knowing with Amazon Prime. Basically, they're a syndicate. So Jeff Bezos, screw you. Your Prime sucks. Um, the so-called the the customer service people, they're probably swamp things. They're laughing in the background. I can just tell because they put me on hold forever. So then they got got to a supervisor because I said, let me talk to a supervisor. And then you know he definitely sounded uh, like a mob. He, he said, yeah, what do you want? I said, Tony, what do you want? I said, Tony who? Oh, just call me Tony. Anyways, I mean, I have no hope. I have no hope. And he said, oh, okay, I'm writing it down as I'm throwing it. Oh, never mind, it's uh, throwing it away. Okay, I know what you're talking about. We'll make a report. Uh, so that's that. All I'm, all I'm saying is um, with Amazon Prime that you are going to go down Go down the shithole with Amazon Prime. Screw you.